young lady this morning coming into the hotel who is a lifer. And I think it may be better to illustrate the story through her. I wanna, I'm gonna embarrass her and bring her up here. Katie Hill, are you here? Where is she at? Come up here. Now, Katie Hill, you gotta follow this story, right? Because she's been connected to Gear Up for 14 years. But she first got in touch with this program, like thousands of the young people here in Philadelphia. Ali uh, runs our Philadelphia program. Give our host from Philadelphia a big round of applause. I know you're having a great time. But come over here. So she lived in a little uh, farm up near the border of Oregon, but she lives in Nevada or Nevada. Nevada. <laughs> it depends on which side you're at, right? So, but wait a minute, in seventh grade, she got plugged into the Gear Up program. And she got a chance to do all the things that Gear Up students experience, visit colleges and get a, a college preparatory curriculum, get mentorship. And anyway, it worked because she visited a school that she later attended and matriculated and graduated from after six years in a gear program and receiving the scholarships and help that she needed. And then she went on to graduate school and became a graduate assistantship and working in the gear up with gear up students on the other side, helping them find their way to college and now on to a doctoral program. And she's got five siblings. She represents everything that's important about what we need to be doing to prepare the future generation of leaders in this country as we, at some point, have to pass the baton. I want you to just welcome her and let her just tell you a few seconds about, a few minutes about her story and about how Gear Up has impacted her life. And she's here now doing an internship with INSEP, uh, with Gear Up. And this is what we're all working for. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Um, like Congressman Fasaw said, I grew up in a small town called Orvada, Nevada. There were 18 people in my graduating class, so it was really, really small. And we were really far away from everything. It was about four hours to get to a mall, so in Reno. And so um, Europe came to my school when I was in the seventh grade and provided services. We went on college visits, we got mentoring, tutoring. I was able to take dual enrollment courses through the local community college via distance education. And I graduated high school with 27 college credits, which was awesome. <laughs> I went on to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas and graduated with my bachelor's in psychology and a minor in human services. I then went to the University of Nevada, Reno, and graduated with my master's in educational leadership for higher education administration. And while I was there, I was a graduate assistant for Gear Up in a research capacity. I worked with Janet Usinger, who some of you might know. She works with CCREC and does a lot of evaluation for Gear Up. And then uh, Janet enticed me and said, if you stay for your doctoral program, you can do this really great study. So I stayed. And it's a study with Gear Up students, and I work with Gear Up students, and I joined the Gear Up Alumni Leadership Academy in the first cohort in 2014, and I helped train the second cohort, and NSEP was gracious enough to have me as a intern this semester, so I'll be there till the end of June. And really, Gear Up has just, it's shaped where I am and who I am and everything that I do. It's really helped me. Um, get a purpose in life to help other students who came from a similar background that I did and I thank you all for the work that you do every day it's, It really makes a difference for students who came from backgrounds like I came from so thank you, thank you. Now as we think about a country with just a little over 300 million people, we're competing economically with nations like, billion plus populated nations like China and India. In order for America to remain number one in the world, we can't afford to leave any of our young people in the shadows of opportunity. We need to prepare each and every one to meet their God-given talents. And Gear Up is about grabbing these young people while the concrete is not yet hardened. 
and putting them in a position to achieve their, their potential. Uh, 